Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create an expanding After Effects title like this in two minutes. Right, let's open After Effects and create a new composition. Make sure your composition frame rate is the same as your footage and then press OK. OK, let's click the title tool and start typing your title. Change the font size and kerning to the desired amount as this will be the starting point for the effect. And use the align tool to center your title horizontally and vertically. OK, so we have our starting point. Now let's do the effect. Drop down your title and on the right you'll see Animate. Click on that. This will bring up a list of things you can do and click on Tracking. I'm just going to make my timeline smaller so we can see what we're doing as this is quite a quick effect. First we want to drop down Animator 1. Make sure your timeline is at the starting point and press the keyframe button next to Tracking Amount. This starts at zero as we've already set our start point so we can go from here. Press play for about three or four seconds and then stop it. This is where our endpoint keyframe will go. To add this, just drag the zero to about 30 or 40, which seems to be the sweet spot. But this can change depending on what title you're making, so play around with it. Okay, let's drag our cursor to the start and press play. And there we are, it's done. So let's move our workspace to the desired amount and export. Now the export settings are important if we want this to be a transparent title, but if you just want black video behind the title, then export it how you would normally. So let's go to export, add to render queue. Now let's change the output module settings. First, the format needs to be QuickTime. If you don't have this, all you need to do is install QuickTime. Secondly, we want to go to the channel. We want to make sure this is on RGB and alpha, and this is gonna give us the transparent background that we want. And lastly, format options, make sure your video codec is set to animation. Okay, and render. This is now ready to go into your Premiere Pro timeline and overlay any footage. It's that simple. That's all we got time for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.